Aquarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot. <clears throat> Sorry, this is going to be a bonus reading for Aquarius and for those who have Aquarius, Aquarius placements. Check your chart for your placements. Um, cross watchers, you're welcome as always. Keep in mind, energy is fluid, so the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. But as I always say, never force the reading. If it's for you, the messages will be fluid. Never force the reading, guys, okay? Thank you guys as well. <clears throat> Thank you for all the support. When I was sick, um, I'm recovering from COVID. Still recovering, but I'm negative. <laughs> so you guys take care of yourself and still mask up because it's out there. It was no joke. <laughs> okay. um, I was very sick. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are well. So let's get into it. I'm going to start this reading by pulling some old messages. If the reading resonates, be sure to tap that like button. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, you may click on the link in the description box below to inquire about availability. All right. So I'll show me the messages. I'm going to start with the Oracle cards. I feel like... <laughs> Okay, let me just leave this here. I heard put that down. <laughs> so I'm going to put that down. <laughs> that came through really strong. All right. Some of you guys um could be seeing synchronicities, like sixes or eights. Somebody's um, birthday can be the year of 88 or 66. Okay. Something may be significant on July 10th. I'm getting a significant date or the dates June 6th or August 8th. Okay. All right. So dreams come true is overall energy. All right. There's something that can be successful, but things have to get moving with the flow card. All right. Because it's being crowned by believe and succeed. Okay, sorry about this reflection. These cards are glossy, so the light from the camera. Um, it's like someone's trying to decide with two different paths, feeling hopeless. Like, there's a decision that needs to be made when I see this card. It's like the two of swords energy. Like, somebody at a crossroads about something. Okay, it's being crowned by reciprocation, being values about something. All right? And success, of, <clears throat> success and growth. Is being crowned by waiting results. Okay. So somebody here could be waiting for something to come in. There could be like a job opportunity or something that has to do with money. Some sort of results that you guys are waiting for, for an opportunity. I feel like awaiting results can be any opportunity. This is a collective reading, so take it as it resonates. But the success and growth is being crowned by that. So there is success and growth, I'm feeling, in something, in some area of your life. But it's requiring some results to come in first, okay? All right, so let's go into the overall energy again is a wish fulfillment. All right, so let's go into the tarot to see what's going on with Aquarius. This is a good start for you guys, though. All right, I'm feeling like there might have been some challenges because why else would you be here, right? But... I feel like there's some good things to look forward to. Show me the messages, please. Show me what Aquarius needs to see. I already, I've already pre-shuffled your deck, guys. Okay. Damn, what the hell? That's crazy how that fell out. All right. I feel like you guys are this came out as a bonus card six of swords i mean seven what is wrong with me today six of swords this is like transitioning moving away from something healing going towards healing and i feel like with the ace of wands reverse it was like somebody here was like hesitant to take a leap of faith in regards to a new beginning like there was a new beginning there for them and i feel like it was with someone with the knight of swords reverse someone who 
it was kind of out of control. Like there was, I feel like there's a lot of drama when I see this card. There's been arguments. Somebody said some hurtful things, hit below the belt, you know, walk off. Somebody walks off and shuts the other person out or stonewalls the other person. With the, being crowned by the six of pent pentacles reversed, this is being taken for granted. Somebody not reciprocating. So I do feel like there were some challenges in this relationship. But I do feel with the king of cups here that someone has been getting some really good advice from someone who's very emotionally mature, very grounded, a very emotionally stable person. It could be a good friend. It could come in as a relative, a coworker um anyone okay and don't be discouraged by the gender because the cards are not gender based so it could be male or female but someone stepped in and gave some emotionally mature advice for some of you you may even be speaking to a therapist and the therapist is giving advice so whatever that challenge is that you guys went through you're trying to transition out of it you're trying to like again go towards healing and progress and that's that's a great thing all right show me the messages and that's why i got you know this helpless and hopeless like at someone at, this, at some point you guys someone who was who's hesitant was feeling at a crossroads like i feel like they were thinking should i stay should i go what should i do but that's being crowned by giving and receiving here so somebody started you know showing that they value that person reciprocating and if it hasn't happened yet it will be happening okay show me more for aquarius yeah i feel like you have to go within Somebody had to go within here with the hermit and, you know, just get some spiritual enlightenment on the situation, trying to figure out what they should do. Um, and I feel like with the page of pentacles, there was some sort of opportunity financially. See, I said success and growth being crowned by waiting results. So something's going to come in something. There's going to be some good news coming in. OK, with the page of pentacles, it's, you know, page energy is not huge, but it's something. OK. Um, it's progress. And this is also about somebody in setting goals or trying to increase their income. I know this is a love reading, but I have to call it as I see it. I also feel like someone here is like trying to be someone that's willing to learn. So I'm trying to be someone who, to, to be someone that their, their partner can count on. With the justice, I feel like there was some sort of apology. Somebody's taking accountability of their behavior. This is um, Libra Energy. In the recent behavior, I mean, recent behavior, in the recent past, I feel like someone's like trying to, you know, hold themselves accountable and um, there's an apology. The justice is always also a new beginning. So I feel strongly that there's a new beginning here after some trauma. With the chariot reverse, yeah, there was a lack of direction in this connection. There was a lot of obstacles going on and somebody was feeling, you know, out of control. They were feeling stuck and powerless. I also feel like somebody tried to leave. But the other person talked them into staying. That's how bad things got. You could be connected with the cancer. Yeah, there's someone here with the Empress realize that they are a higher level person here. They they will they know their worth. Um, for some of you, somebody might have found out that they were pregnant with the Empress here. That's the Empress card is about pregnancy and fertility. Um and then I feel like the other person, you know, realized they were making bad decisions, seven of cups reverse. There's been support choices in this connection and they feel like they've gotten their clarity. And um, yeah, somebody feel like they, you know, they, they wanted to have a new beginning. This is Libra energy here, by the way. Show me more for Aquarius. Show me the messages, please, for Aquarius. I don't know what's going on with these sloppy ass call hunts. Show me more. Yeah, I feel like, like, you know, sometimes in relationships, you get in this isolated energy, your head is buried in the sand, you're going through stuff. Um, I feel like someone is just deciding to be patient with themselves and persevere. I feel like there's planning on, you know, be putting things, you know, what am I, what am I saying? What are the words? Like putting in the work so they can see the results of it, just planning and just trying to push through all challenges into, you know, making investments, you know, focus on their money. I feel like um, you could be connected with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And with the King of Pentacles, somebody's focused on stability here now. Financial stability, money matters. For some of you, so if somebody's pregnant, then, you know, that's the thing. Okay, now wait, we're bringing a new life into this world. Um, we have to be stable. For some of you, um, 
the Empress is about birth and rebirth of a life, a new beginning, you know? So if you're listening to this reading, you're like, I can't have kids or um, I'm way past that. It's a new beginning. It's newness, okay? This is great because with the Ten of Pentacles, this is like committing, willing to build towards something, building together, a solid commitment. All right, I love this. Show me um, what was the breakdown here between Aquarius and their person. Show me the breakdown. I'm telling you, as far as money, if y'all waiting on something financially, there's a reason. This came out sideways, so I'll put it back, guys. I only read uprights and reversals. Anybody waiting on news regarding money, I'm telling you, just keep moving, keep things going. It's believe that it's going to happen. It will happen. The results are going to come in. This, okay? There's a new financial beginning here with this Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like with the Five of Pentacles here, there was like a, you know, some temporary hardship financially. There was some sort of financial loss. There was some tough times. It must have, you know, somebody here felt broke, you know? But things are going to change for the better financially. You just have to believe and manifest it. You have to make the right investments with your money, okay? It's very important. There's an opportunity here if you do the right thing. All right. Um, again, I got the Knight of Swords reverse here. There definitely was the breakdown here was, and I, I asked what the breakdown is. The breakdown was that somebody, you know, this was like an out of control situation. Somebody was being very hurtful to other person. And I feel like there was a lot of arguments, a lot of drama, just a lot of hurt feelings. Okay. A lot of interference. Um, and, but in you know, money problems as well, I feel like the combination of the drama, you know, the in and out energy, not the instability in this connection and the financial instability, it caused a lot of stress and breakdown here. All right. But again, I feel, I feel like abundance is coming now with the Ace of Pentacles. Well, yeah. Wow. Why is this Queen of Swords reverse here? Clarify this Queen of Swords reverse for me, please. Queen of Wands. Two different energies here. Okay, I feel like there might have been an ex or somebody from the past. Um, somebody that's associated with your person or you take it as it resonates with the Queen of Swords reverse and the Queen of Wands. For some of you, you could be in a same-sex relationship. Okay, and even if you're having a baby, same-sex people, couples have babies as well. But that could be the situation where there was someone here that couldn't be trusted. They were lying. They were talking shit. A miserable-ass person causing drama contributed to this. Okay, um, but then I have the Queen of Wands sitting here, very, you know, mature, very well liked, very loyal, um, someone who values their home and family life. So, um, I feel like this person was very jealous and self-sabotaging and sa and trying to sabotage this connection because they wanted your person just causing problems. All right. And that was also part of the breakdown here. Show me Aquarius person's current <laughs> feelings for... Yeah, with the, with the Ten of Wands, someone here felt taken for granted. I feel like that was you from your person. There was a lot. Like, I feel like they, somebody feels overwhelmed. There was a lot of stress, a lot of problems. Just a lot of shit going on. A lot of responsibilities at one time. Okay, show me on um, this person's feelings for them. Well, I got the Empress again. I'm telling you, somebody's pregnant. Very direct message. Very direct message. And this person is like, wow, like, because this is, um, this, this person that you're connecting to, the King of Swords Reverse, is somebody who's been very selfish. Very, very selfish. Very devious. This is somebody that felt kind of depressed and stuck. They see you as having your shit together. And there was a lack of opportunities for them. But now they're trying to, um, you know, get out of that stuck energy. They want to keep, they're seizing new opportunities. That's why I said things are getting better, especially with this impress card here, this new beginning, this new life. Um, yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Karma. This is a new cycle. There's new beginnings here. This is really good Karma. Okay, at the really tough times. You could be connected with the Libra or Capricorn. Yeah. And I feel like with the Three of Cups reverse, um, somebody here might have had um, reproduction issues. And now this with this Empress, it's in reverse. I mean, it's upright. 
there might have been some issues trying to get to this point or just struggling to you know get out again and have new beginnings and celebrate and have a good time overall and now it's happening with the empress here Somebody was overindulging in themselves as opposed to paying attention to the, the amazing person they have right in front of them. I feel like that's your person feeling like, you know, I took my impress for granted and now I want to focus on them. Okay, they, they have some regrets talking shit, you know, maybe the family members, friends about you. But it was all rubbish. Okay, it was like smear campaigning, like when you guys were on a, on a outs and this person now sees you for, you know, the healing, loving person you are. And they have all these regrets because they're like, that's not really what my person was like. Yeah, there was a rock bottom moment. Ten of swords is here. Yeah, this and this relationship almost ended. Something happened where it got really bad. The drama was really severe. There was really, really hurtful things said to each other. It was like almost like severed ties. Like this is it. Like somebody felt betrayed by the other person. Okay. And your person is, is remembering that that there was a that you know we were in this defeating situation and here we are now facing a new beginning. All right. So that's how they're looking at you now. Like look what look how far we've come. All right. Why is this two of swords here? Again, you guys are waiting for something. Don't stress about it, whatever it is. It's stressful, whatever it is. And I feel like one person feels one way about something, the other person feels another way about it. Okay, why is this Knight of Cups here, please? Your person is trying to be your ideal partner. They're trying to um, improve. They want to be your ideal mate. They want to gift you something. They, there's, there's this affection here that you know they're following their heart when it comes to you this is someone that's typically stubborn they're not easy to compromise with this is somebody that might have um paternity issues may not have their father in their life may not have absentee father is what i'm getting with emperor reverse you can be connected with an aries this person is just they don't like to conform all right but now you guys are, are trying to make a decision about something why is this two of swords here devil reverse you're trying to figure out if you should like try to recover with this person because you're like oh this person is so stubborn so resistant again this is their feelings too they want to come in and make they want to heal this they want to they want they there's there's determined to make this work and things are looking great for you guys as long as you work on it together again because there's some financial gain but i feel like right now you guys are waiting for something so you don't, you know, you don't know that the things are going to get better. But that's the intention that, you know, you guys. But I feel like whatever you're waiting for results for, you're both at opposites. Like one person is believing one thing, another one believes another. But look at the star. Healing, hope, faith, manifestation. Okay, so this is good. And I feel like this person, you know, no matter what you guys are going through, no matter what challenges, it's like the goal is to heal the connection, no matter what. And to manifest better for the both of you. Okay, you can be you can be connecting with the Capricorn. All right, show me um, show me Aquarius' feelings for this person. What is their feelings for that person, please? What is Aquarius' feelings for that person? Show me Aquarius' feelings. There's love here. You love the you love your person. Make no mistake, you're in love with this person. You feel like you guys are soulmates, but at the same time, the temperaments reverse. Um, there's been some reckless behavior here. I feel like you guys have been, there's been some conflicting energy, some drama clashing with opinions and, um, somebody was being selfish and looking out for themselves more. And that's how you feel. I feel like this is your feelings towards your person. You feel like your person was just being reckless. Um, but at the same time, you're committed to this with the Ten of Pentacles. This is the second time I got the Ten of Pentacles. I assure you the the focus for you guys is that you're trying to build together. All right. It's like you are committed to making this work because you do you do love each other in spite of the challenges, All right? Okay, and also at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Cups, there was some sort of wish fulfillment. I told you that's the overall energy here. 
So this wish fulfillment is going to be different for all of you. This is a collective. But I feel like a lot of you got something that you wanted and you've been waiting for. For some of you, again, I got fertility challenges, but now there's a pregnancy. Okay, um, page of wands is here. Again, there's some good news coming in. It's nothing huge, but progress is progress. Baby steps is still progress. And you guys are going in the right direction. And I feel like that's what you're waiting for. And you're waiting for results. And that news is going to come in and, and you feel good about it. I feel like you feel good about it. But the two of, of swords here. What is this about? Can you clarify this two of swords, please? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So someone still, even though things are getting better, there are still some things I feel that have not been resolved. And you know what that is, Aquarius, because I got the two of cups in reverse now, and I got the four of wands in reverse. Okay. So there's something that happened here that makes you guys that you feel you still feel somewhat disconnected from your person about a certain issue. And that's what you're on the fence about. And that's what you feel torn about. There's something in the past that you haven't gotten over. You haven't gotten over it. And you know what this is, Aquarius. You know what this is. You're having a hard time getting over that thing. But you do love this person and you have agreed to make things work. And there's a lot of abundance coming your way in healing this connection. But there's something that you got, you need to listen to, um, you need to address. With the High Priestess Reverse, it's like not listening to your intuition about something. Something that you felt was manipulative. All right. So in order to really move forward, you're going to have to address that. Whatever that is. Oh, your card flipped all the way on the floor. <laughs> yeah, because there's a victory here. The sun is the most positive card in the deck. Look like somebody took a chunk out of my card. <laughs> um, there's happiness. I'm telling you, there's something big that happened here. And for some of you starting a new family, congratulations. Because it's all through my reading. But um, there's still something that you feel at a disadvantage about. There's something that you feel... It was like something that just, that you felt disgraced about, um, humiliated about, defeated. There's a need for you to address that so that you guys can move forward towards your happiness. All right, so show me the challenges. What are the challenges? You can be connected with the Leo. Show me the challenges, please, for Aquarius. A baby is also a new beginning. Okay, and I feel like you guys were given an opportunity for a new beginning. But there are some things from the past that need to, something that needs to be addressed <laughs> and, and still resolved. And I feel like it's kind of like sweeped under the rug. Yeah. Page of Cups and the Star Reverse, Aquarius, this is your energy. Um, yeah, there's something that you still feel negative about. And I feel like with the Page of Cups, your person, like, instead of discussing it, they, like, may gift you something or do something nice or say something nice. But you're like, I don't know. I don't have faith in. There's something that you, that you don't really have faith in. Show me what that is, please. With the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the Three of Wands is about growth and expansion. And that's what you're trying to go towards with your person. You want to have this growth and expansion with your person. But you're like, is this little bit that they're doing enough? That's what it is. A page is, is small energy. And the challenge is to believe that, to have faith that whatever it is that they're offering you right now, right at this moment, is enough for you guys to grow and move forward. And I have to say, you guys can still grow and move forward, all right? So again, helpless and hopeless, there's something that you are on the fence about and that you have to, you know, talk to your person about, all right? Let them know. Because then once you have this conversation, it's going to be helpful in getting you guys to a place where you feel valued by your person. You feel like they're reciprocating more, okay? Show me advice. What advice do we have for Aquarius? What advice do we have for Aquarius? Okay, when the cards come out this way, I put them back. What advice do we have for Aquarius, please? Okay. Oh my goodness. 
goodness. Yeah, there was some manipulation that went on. Somebody was playing mind games here. There was some challenges here with the magician. Um, somebody may still be playing games. <sighs> it's causing this indecision. Whatever this is, whatever this conversation is, whatever feels like, is this person trying to play me? Or I don't know if I can get past this. I don't know if what they're doing is enough. It's just causing frustration, indecision, and delays with the magician reverse Gemini energy. And Spirit is saying there's a need for you to have that hard conversation and to release everything. Sit with it, process it, and release it. Four Pentacles reverse is letting go of people, places, things, anything that has caused deep-seated issues in this connection. It's time to release it. Then and only then can you have this, truly have this victory. You guys can be successful, but it's it has to do with revisiting something where you feel like, you know what, I feel like you should, I want to talk about the time when you tried to play me. You know what I'm saying? Like, have that conversation because I feel like you're still holding on to those things. All right? Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. There's something that where well, this person miscarried the connection. They caused you a lot of pain, a lot of sadness. You kind of felt like left hanging on your own in the connection. You could be connecting with the Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces. It's like you're focusing on these negative feelings with the Four of Cups. Um, and, it, and it makes you feel frustrated. But it's keeping you guys stuck. There was some sort of re some situation where there's regret. Okay? You guys, you know what that is. You need to have that conversation in order to truly be happy. Yes. Two of, of wands now. <laughs> Again, lining up with helpless and hopeless. You have to be, you have to, like, you're still in this, a part of you is still kind of detached because you're not having that conversation. There's this avoidance. There's this suppressed feelings. There's something that's lingering that you're just trying to, like, suppress. And you're trying to figure out what you should do. Like, what should I, so there's a need for you to have that decision because there's a commitment. There's an opportunity for a commitment here with the Hierophant, a traditional commitment, but it, it it has you have to make your your mind up about it. Ace of Wands, I'm telling you, some of you are pregnant. I've got I literally pulled the Three of Cups, the Empress, and the Ace of Wands. These are all pregnancy cards in the upright position. So some of you feel like okay, I'm in a situation where I can't leave. Some of you might even be contemplating um, terminating the pregnancy. See um a professional before you do something like that. Don't make an emotional decision because emotions can be temporary. You know. So don't make an impulsively emotional decision based on past pain. All right. Um, you could be connecting with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The lovers is here. Okay. There's a new beginning here for you. There's a major choice in love that needs to be made. You feel like this person is your um, soulmate. You love this person in spite of everything that you've been through. But with the Magician in Reverse, again, you can't get over a situation that you felt manipulated in. Okay, and again, the Ace of Cups is in reverse. So that's why you have some suppressed emotions, repressed emotions. You need to have that conversation because there's a wish fulfillment right here. You're experiencing it right now, but it's being crowned by this resentment, all right? So before we close out this reading, I'm gonna pull some messages from the universe. Show me the messages for Aquarius, please, in love. What does Aquarius need to see in love? Again, if this reading is resonate, be sure to tap the like button. It lets me know you want to see more of these messages. And it also helps me to rotate these messages to others such as yourself. Comparing yourself to others keep you stuck in a cycle of guilt and shame and continues to separate you from your blessings. It keeps you small. Understand that everyone has their own journey, which always unfolds in divine timing. Your timing will come. Okay, what I'm getting from this is that there may be times where your person made you feel insecure and, feel, and, and you feel inadequate. You felt inadequate and you was comparing yourself to maybe their ex, the same ones that caused the drama. And spirit is like, don't do that. Your journey is yours, whatever that situation is. Maybe it's someone that they were with, that they had a child children with, and you didn't think you can get to this point. 
this is a very specific message and now your time is is happening bigger and better experiences are coming your way you may not be able to see it but great things are coming together for you as as you read this trust the process and let it unfold in divine timing move forward knowing that all is working out just fine that is manifestation manifestation is knowing that everything is working out fine presently not everything will everything is that's the difference okay don't lose sight of this truth. You came here to evolve and grow. So it is necessary to experience the difficult times. That's when you will grow the most. There is always a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. You got to go through the hard times. You got to have that hard conversation. To get to the other side, you have to be able to sit with that, process it, and release it. You are safe. You are protected. The worst is behind you. And you are ready to move beyond the challenges that were set for you lessons have been learned it is safe for you to trust your path trust your path just talk about it don't suppress it because you're going to feel so much better once you do this card popped out guys the reason some people have walked away from you for no reason has nothing to do with you they have been removed from your life because the universe is taking you next they have already served their purpose in your life. Let them go and keep moving. Greater is coming. Yeah, so I feel like some of you are thinking about this is a new year, you know, where well, well just a little bit into January, almost mid-January. And we think about those we're leaving behind. You know, new beginnings also come with endings. And Spirit is saying there was a reason that these people had to be eliminated. The universe is protecting you, all right? When the world feels like it's coming crashing down around you, take that as an opportunity to find yourself and let go of who you thought you were. Not all storms come to destroy you. Some come to clear your path. Decide that this crisis will be the turning point for what you have been waiting for. So whatever this crisis is, whatever it is that you're going through now, whatever it is you still can't release that's deep inside and suppressed and repressed in your emotions, dig deep in there dig deep down in pull that out talk to your person process those feelings you know sit with them process them and release them okay because there's a new beginning here some things have to be destroyed so new things can be rebuilt that's why it says not all storms come to destroy your life some come to clear your path all right so those are the messages that I have for you, Aquarius, for this reading. Um, if it resonated, let me know by leaving a comment or, you know, pressing the like button. If Again, if you're interested in a personal reading, click on the link in the description box below. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.